Objection, you judge. No, don't object. <laughs> I'll allow it. Answer the question, patient 169. <laughs> Are you a... What's up, guys? We're back with Helping Hand today. And on our last episode, I found out there's a little menu where you can go back and actually click which level you want to jump into. And there is two different endings to this one here. So I'm wondering if maybe it has to do with either Jeff or the pasture. So we're going to quick get to the pasture and see if maybe he has a different ending. If not, we'll then jump to Jeff. I know, I really wish I could skip dialogue, man. Well, hello there, my child. The doctor told me you that you cannot speak, so I will try to interpret your signs the best I can. My name is Pastor Daniel. I am here today to help you through your pain and torment with the power of prayer. For there is nothing that our Lord and Savior... Chow boy. Chew boy, I don't know. Cannot do. We can pray for as long as you find comfort in his light. Okay, I would not be fine with that. Oh good, I'm so happy to see that the ancient lord has promised us a savior. Yes, I know we've gone over this before. Pastor, preacher, prophet, whatever your name was, Daniel. Let us pray to our lord and ask him to grant a speedy recovery. Okay. Gracious child boy, true boy, I don't know. We gather ourselves here today to ask you for your forgiveness and your blessings. May you please guide our friend here through a speedy recovery. We ask that our grant this pray, Lord child boy, so that your humble servant can once again start following your every wish and command. We ask that our poor pour your strength into these bones that we become stronger than before. I cannot read this fast. So that we can be so that we can do your work, Lord Chowboy. Our Lord and Savior Chowboy looks down on you and smiles. You truly are everything that our prophet has foretold. I pray that you have a quick recovery. That's good, so that you will lead your people into prosperity. Our people, your people. I need to leave now, but you are in my prayers. Goodbye, child. Okay, so it wasn't the pasture. Interesting, so it has to be Jeff. Maybe if we agree that we did everything, you know, that he's accusing us of. Hmm. You probably don't remember me. But I'm the truck driver that was involved in the accident that got you here. Yeah, okay, I know. I remember this, Jeff. Oh, all right. The doctor told me you've been struggling to speak. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little. So I'll make this short and sweet. Okay, thank you, Jeff. That that would be nice. I need an apology from you, son. Mm, I really don't want to give you one. You see, I believe that you were the one who caused this accident. From my viewpoint, it seemed that you really weren't paying attention to the road. Yeah, sure, I wasn't paying attention, dude. Ah. I think I will take that as an apology. You do that, Jeff. Listen, kid, I might lose my job got it because of this accident well that would be a shame you seem like such a nice person i need to be doubly sure that you are admitting to being the cause of the accident do you understand yeah totally doesn't mean i am really well that was easy listen kiddo i really do appreciate your honesty and your cooperation. I'm just gonna going to uh hand this statement into the police now. What statement? Freaking weirdo. Bye, Jeff. That was slightly different. Hmm. Alright, so that didn't really change anything for me. 
I'm now curious. I might have to look up what I'm supposed to do. Or maybe we'll find out once we get further into this. So I'm going to skip through everything that we already did in this chapter. I'm just going to tell them okay to get it, go through it quick. Because I don't think it'll change anything. Um, and we'll pick up right where the lawyer came in. Where we left off last time. Hello. My name is Timothy Clarkson. I have been sent here by the police department to represent you in the court case. That's good to know. Against Jeffrey Harrison. The officers have told me that you have caused some unnecessary chaos on the road which brought you here. No, no, I didn't. Well, no matter. Even if you are guilty, which it seems that you are, thanks for the help, you now have the best lawyer in town. I don't think so. You can't put in your tired right to defend you. Shall we go through what you did wrong on the night of February 11th? Yeah, sure, why not? Tell me what I did wrong. Firstly, the offense will probably claim that you were pro occupied with the radio in your units and thus you were neglecting neglect on the road okay yes that makes sense the good thing for you is that there is no physical proof for them to claim this it as the truth according to the state law under section 69 of course it'd be under 69 or is it section 59 it's probably 59 in any case the law states that you can't throw someone in jail if you don't have proof of their crimes. I bet you didn't know that. Yeah, sure, totally didn't. Well, aren't you a know-it-all? Try not to be so arrogant in the courtroom. Got it, got it. It won't work out well for you. So now... Since you know the law so well, you know that if you lose this trial, you will go to jail for manslaughter. We didn't kill anyone, which means that you can go to jail for up to a really long time. Yes, thank you. This is an amazing lawyer. We both know you don't want that. So let's discuss what we can do to prevent it. Let's start with our court etiquette. Now I know you have a bit of a speech impediment. Yes, but tell me, how will you address the judge when she asks you the questions? Do you solemnly swear that you will tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, good. That's correct. You want the judge to become extremely sympathetic towards you. That would probably help. Lucky for you, you have all the disability injuries to pull on her heartstrings if she has a heart. <clears throat> Great judge. Anyway. I'm sure that you will be great during the court case. Just tell me, do all, just let me do all the talking. Okay, yes, I got it. I mean, you have to. No shit, Sherlock, because you can't speak. Yep. God, just rub it in my face, but you get it. I'll see you in there. Don't worry, you've got the best defense lawyer that you can ask for. Highly doubt it. I'll see you soon. Someone please help me. The trial of Jeffrey versus patient honorable judge Judith presiding. Judge Judith, huh? Yeah, yeah, sit down. Let's get this over with. The court is now in session. Well, don't just stare at me. 
<laughs> Is the prosecution <laughs> ready or what? <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Is Jeff not even here? Come on, then. Let us hear your opening statement. Is that the people that came and gave me the gift basket? And then the driver, the operator that was... Okay. Um, I will be representing my client, Jeff. And by the end of this trial, you will agree that the patient 169, of course, 69, was the cause of the horrific accident and that my client was unwillingly involved in due his neglect and incredible can we get to something more more something else uh peace hey knock it off would you what did i tell you about speaking your honor, you'll have to excuse my client. He is a bit, uh... You know... Mentally challenged. And it's because of Plama's client. What? What's his name again? It's, it's Jeff. Jeffrey. Yes, Jeffrey. Because Jeffrey drove on the wrong side of the road. Thank you! And proceeded to crash into my client. And caused irreplaceable damage to my client's body. So, uh, we would call for the verdict of not guilty. Is that right, patient 169? Yes, it is! Go figure. Okay, I'd like to call our first witness to the stand. Nurse Barbara. What? We're ready for you. Oh, okay. The opposition may start with their inquiries for Nurse Barbara. Good afternoon, Nurse Barbara. I hope you're well today. I'm screwed. Yeah, yeah, just get on with it. Oh, a woman after my own heart. Thanks, Judge. Oh, uh, all right then. On the night of the patient, 169 was admitted to the hospital. Did he say anything peculiar to you? I can't speak. I'm sorry, Miss Chris Lawyer Man, but have you seen the patient's face? It's a bit peculiar if I do say so myself. I hate you, Barbara. Uh, I'm a woman. Oh, so sorry, Gary. You just have very broad shoulders. Where are we going with this, Barbara? You're not wearing any football gear. No, please, let's get back to the subject at hand. Thank you. Yes, sir. It's a chick, Barbara. Did the patient actually say anything? That might make you think... That he caused the accident. I can't speak. Well, I flipped him once, one of these, and he passed out. So I don't think he could have. Thank you, Barbara. Oh my god, thank you. He's a bit of a pussy. Thank you, Barbara. Isn't that right, twerp? You're a massive pussy, aren't you? Oh my god, do I have to answer? Objection, your judge. No, don't object. <laughs> I'll allow it. Answer the question, patient 169. <laughs> Are you a pussy? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you may proceed. Uh, okay. Is there any other information that you could give us about the patient? Not really. 
His injuries were really bad. He took on the truck. And the truck definitely won. Thank you, Barbara. Okay, that's all the questions I have for now. Okay, the defense may now address the witness. Nurse Barbara, you say that my client took on the truck. Do you think it's possible that the truck took on my client instead? Yeah, I mean, it's possible. I mean, the patient is a bit mentally inhibited. So it wouldn't surprise me if he thought that taking on the truck was a good idea. Barbara, you're not helping me now. But it's possible that he wasn't so dumb before the accident. Thank you, Barbara. That the truck did, in fact, take on the patient. Thank you, Nurse Barbara. That's all for the defense. Good, good. Are we ready for the next witness? Yes, please. Good. I call up Mrs. How do you say this name? I don't know, Your Honor. I call up the patient's mother. Mm. I don't know if this is good or bad. There's no need to be scared. Unless you have something to hide. The opposition may begin. Mom, please don't screw me. Miss, uh... Just call me Mom, dear. I'm going to assume we have a hard last name to say. Um, okay, Mom. Do you have any reason to suspect that your son would be capable of committing manslaughter? Oh, goodness, no. He's such a good boy. Thank you, Mom. He has had a few accidents before, but never something like this. Can you describe his other accidents? Please be something stupid. Well, once he went wet the bed at the age of 16. No, I mean, sigh. Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> his bladder control is pathetic. Thank you, Barbara. No. What I mean is, has he had any other car accidents? Oh, no, only one, nothing bad. He hit his knee on the ground when he was riding his scooter. I'm, I'm done, Your Honor. Okay, the defense may now address the witness. What witness? She wasn't there. Miss Mom. Do you believe that your son caused the accident? Of course not. My son is a good person. Is that stupid truck driver that did that? It's the stupid truck. Objection, your honor. Oh my god, please just get to the point, Timothy Clarkson. My point, your honorable judge, Judith is that every witness so far has said that my client is not capable of causing this accident. I am finished asking this witness questions, Your Honor. Oh, thank God. It looking, it's looking good for us. We may just win this. I feel like you're gonna jinx us. Finally, it's been so long. Would the defense like to speak? Uh, I mean, you know, be spoken to by the opposition. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, the opposition may address the defense. 
Thank you, Your Honor. Patient 169, is it true that you were changing the radio channel in the car when the accident occurred? Yes. What? For real? Patient 169, do you realize that you have just admitted to being negligent on the road? I mean, that's what I'm getting from that hand sign. You see? He's the one who did it. Oh. Well, uh... I guess that settles it then. Patient 169, you have been found guilty of manslaughter. Who died? I hereby sentence you to 10 years in jail. The courtroom is dismissed. Thank you all for being here. What? Good, you deserved it. Screw you, Jeff. Screw. No, screw. Screw you, Jeff. Good work, dumbass. This is gonna look great on my record. Have fun in jail, Pat. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Oh god, we're in jail. We have tattoos now. It's roll call time. Alright guys, well I think we're gonna leave it off there for today. And maybe we'll come back to prison. Or maybe we'll figure out what happens if I don't admit I was using the radio. But until next time guys, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're not a subscriber and you like watching my stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, ring the bell icon so you know when I upload new stuff. And if there's any games you want to see me play, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get to it when I have some free time. Bye! I love yous.